So my presentation concerns, as you see, the local Muslim leadership in Paris and London. But the thing is that after every terrorist attack, the main topic debated in both media and political discourse in whole Europe is imams. So imams training, imams authority, imams identity, imams role. And in France and Britain, where there is an important Muslim population, one cannot talk about Islam or radicalization or even immigration without mentioning imams who are individuals designated to lead prayer and give sermons in mosques. So should imams be the primary focus of study when talking about Muslim presence in Europe and how they came to be so? But before answering to these questions, I want just to give you some key facts, key facts as a background for my research. So in both France and UK, the Muslim population is mainly constituted of people coming from the colonies. So the Maghrib, Morocco, <coughs> Tunisia, Algeria in the French case, and then the subcontinent, which is the current India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh in the British case. And they came as like the first wave of immigration came between the 40s and the 60s, roughly. Um, so after the family reunification, the second generation started to be very active between the 70s and the 80s. And the heyday of this activism was the Beurs March, La Marche des Beurs in France, against racism, and then Asian, the Asian youth movement in the UK. Then in 1989, two events changed the visibility of Muslims forever. The Veil Affair in France, which is the case of two girls who were rejected by an upper school, a French upper school, because we're in the headscarf. And then the Rushdie Affair, which is the novel written about Salman Rushdie that was largely, largely condemned by Muslims all over the world. After that, and particularly after 9-11, we started thinking seriously about the question of institutionalization of Islam in these two countries. Uh, so, and this is, by the way, just my own synthetic chronology or periodization, like others might disagree. Uh, but, but the role of imams has also evolved with this. So from the invisible imam during the colonial period, we moved to the factory imam. So the imam who is working in the factories during the immigration period. Then the almost imam. So the imam who didn't choose to be an imam. The imam who is just working on a voluntary basis in different districts and cities in France and UK. Then the imam of today. The imam that we're focusing on extensively in both media and political discourse. So when I started my PhD in 2015, um, my main objective was to understand the role of local Muslim leaders. And by local Muslim leaders, I mean both mosques, both imams and mosque committee members. And I tried to look at the relationship with various actors, both inside and outside the mosque. Now, when I started that, and when I started doing my ethnography, I was confounded, I was surprised by a strong process that is going on there, which is the process of bureaucratization. And that process is not only influencing the mosque as an institution, but it's influencing also the everyday life of these actors. Now, after two years of like, intensive field work, including like, field site visits and participant observation and some structured interviews, I came to the conclusion that the imams are moving towards a bureaucratic role. So they are moving towards being simply employees having a salary. So the question of the decline of religious authority that the previous literature is talking about was not because of individualization or because of Sheikh Google, but it was because of a displacement of authority from imams to the committee members. It was, in other words, a displacement from the religious traditional imama to the legal rational leadership in the mosque. Now to conclude, like my main point behind this presentation and behind my PhD in general, that instead of focusing on the role of imams, we have to focus on the role of committee members as well. And instead of focusing just on the role of the imam inside the mosque, we need to go beyond the question of religious authority to look at their role also outside the mosque and the relationship that they have with various actors. Bureaucratization does not only influence the institution of the mosque, but it influences also the ethical self-identification, the way how these actors approach Islam as a tradition and as a discourse. Thank you.